Hi, it's Mary back again to share some more words to say. Today we're going to talk about what do I say when I hear no. Now no is probably the word every direct seller really hates, right? It brings up a whole bunch of stuff we don't like. Sometimes anger, sometimes resentment, sometimes rejection, sometimes even a little bitterness. But the truth of the matter is, when you hear no, it's really not about any of that. It's unlikely the person telling you no wants you to feel those things. They simply want to give you feedback about what it is you're asking of them. No means a number of different things. For some people, it's about setting a boundary. Maybe I have priorities I've established in my life and I'm trying really hard to honor them, so I'm saying no to anything that gets in the way of that. Maybe I'm saying no because I'm so busy, I can't even imagine doing one more thing right now. It is possible I'm saying no because I'm really just not interested. But no is just feedback. When you begin to think of it that way, it's a little bit easier to hear. You know, the reality is as a direct seller, you're going to hear no, because your job is to ask lots and lots of people to hear about your business. It's a little bit easier to ask them just to find out about your business and then let them decide whether the answer is yes or no. Again, let me say that one more time. It's your job just to invite people to hear what you have to offer. It's someone else's job to decide yes or no. It is never your job to convince anybody to say yes. So when you do sit down with someone and you've given your best effort to let them know what's involved in your product or your business and they still say no, here's some things that you might say. My, one of my favorites is to say, no, I'm curious. What about right now is causing you to say no? You get some good information. You might discover that it's one of those reasons we just talked about. You might discover it was something you said or did. That's good feedback. It will help you get better at presenting your opportunity. Another thing you might say is, you know, I realize that for some people, it's you're just not interested and it's no forever. But for a lot of people, when they tell me no, it's just because right now isn't the good time. What kind of no are you telling me? Another thing you might say is, you know, I recognize that right now no is the right answer for you and this isn't the right time for you. But I also know that things change in people's lives and circumstances, so I wonder if I might have permission to touch base with you again in the future and see if anything has changed. Whatever you say to them, the reality is it's okay to hear no and it's not about you personally. Just thank them for their interest, their taking time and left long enough to listen, and move on because right around the corner is someone who's waiting to say yes.